This guy might spend $3 billion to buy AI coding tool Windsurf, and it's the next step in his master plan to vertically integrate the entire AI stack. He has five things you need to know about the rumored OpenAI Windsurf deal. Let's get into it. Number one, OpenAI started off with the goal of building AI models that power other companies' products. But the success of ChatGPT taught them that the moat is actually in owning end-user products rather than owning the models that they run. ChatGPT is the most used AI product in the world and more people know about it than OpenAI's models themselves. Number two, by buying Windsurf, OpenAI is trying to strengthen its position with developers, moving from selling AI models via an API to owning a valuable tool that millions of developers use every single day. Number three, owning an AI tool is potentially worth billions of dollars in revenue to OpenAI in the long run but it also means they have access to more valuable data that can be used to train their models and make them even better for coding and software development use cases. Number four, this move signals that OpenAI wants to own the entire vertical stack in important industries, from foundation models all the way to end user applications. And it's starting with the lucrative software development market. Number five, Microsoft might not be too happy about this deal. Microsoft currently dominates the AI coding market with VS Code and GitHub Copilot. But this Windsurf deal lets OpenAI compete directly with them, and it further complicates what has been a complex relationship between Sam Altman and Satya Nadella. So, do you think OpenAI buying Windsurf is a good idea, or should they focus on just making ChatGPT better? Let me know in the comments, and follow for more AI coding news and tips.